Father, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Creator of all things, the Eternal One, immortal, and visible, and sovereign God. In the name of your precious Son, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, the Lamb of God, Light of the world, our High Priest, the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Lord, you have taught us to pray in Matthew 6, verse 9 through 13. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Yes, Father, may your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Dear Lord and Master, I come before your throne of grace as humbly as possible to obtain your mercy, forgiveness, and grace. Make this intercessory prayer holy and acceptable to you, O oh Lord. Make everyone hear this prayer, be blessed, transformed, and empowered by your Holy Spirit. I thank you, El Elyon, Most High God, for my salvation through Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Christ. I am grateful for your sacrifice, Lord, which took away the curse of my sins. Sins no longer have power over me because of the precious blood of Jesus Christ shed on Calvary. Thank you for the cross, because you said in your word in Romans 8 verse 1, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Also, Father, there is no spirit of disobedience in me that will make me live under your wrath, because I choose to follow the way of Christ, who took this curse away from me with all these sins, selfishness, pride, animosity, unbelief, hypocrisy, greed, unforgiveness, sexual immorality, hatred, judging others, and all types of iniquities. According to Isaiah 53 verse 4 and 5, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. I am justified by faith in God, and my trust in the redemptive work of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Redeemer, makes all the more fulfilled. For in Him I find myself, all that I am and do must be found in Him, who is my righteousness and victor. According to your word, God, in Philippians 3 verse 9 and 10, and be found in Him not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God on the basis of faith. I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, and so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. The death and resurrections of Jesus Christ have redeemed me from the power of the flesh. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives in you. Romans 8 verse 11. For God has credited his righteousness into my account because I respond in faith to Christ's offer of salvation. Therefore, I am saved, sanctified, and justified. Now I have eternal life, and Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life. Hallelujah! No evil shall come and dwell in me, because I am clothed with the holiness of God. The name of Jesus is above every name. There is power in the name and the blood of Jesus. 
I burn and rebuke every evil and demonic force operating against my family and me in the name of Jesus Christ. Philippians 2 verse 9 and 10 says, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Colossians 2 verse 14 and 15 says, Having canceled the charge of our legal in indebtedness which stood against us and condemned us, he has taken it away, nailing it to the cross, and having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. No weapon formed against me and my family shall prosper. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. I am in a position of safety because I abide in the presence of God. My life is hidden in Christ. Thank you, God Almighty, for your divine protection over my life and the lives of my loved ones. Your word says in Psalm 91 that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fire and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall thread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample on the foot, hallelujah, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, you are worthy of my praise. God, you are worthy of our praise. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for who you are, my Father. Thank you for calling me a son, a daughter. For I know I can come to you for protection, for provision, for guidance and wisdom. Because you made me an heir and co-heir of Christ. Romans 8 verse 15 declares, The spirit you received does not make you slaves, so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, Father. Lord, give us a desire to pray and to seek you, a desire to know you more. Please draw us near you, O God. We want more of you and less of us. Kill all carnality, the carnal desires of our flesh, and help us to live according to your spirit. As it says in your word in Galatians 5 verse 16, This I say then, Walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Revive us again, God. Revive us again, my Lord. 
Lord, transform us and enable us to walk over these works of the flesh as described in Galatians 5 verse 19 through 21, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousy, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Father, make these virtues of yours and your Holy Spirit manifest in my life. We pray for love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Galatians 5 verse 22 through 24. We want to remind ourselves, Lord, that for at one time we lived in darkness, but now we shine under your light. So help us, Lord, to walk as children of light. Ephesians 5 verse 8. Your word urges us to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which we have been called with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Ephesians 4 verse 1 through 3 As we represent you before the world. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Redeemer, do not let us be complacent in just attending church every Sunday morning, but teach us how to represent you and live our lives every day as kingdom citizens, knowing that you have given us the mandate to dominate and rule this earth so our presence can influence those around us. We need a spiritual awakening, Lord. We need a spiritual revival in our hearts, our families, our church, our community leaders, our city officials, Congress, and all forms of government. You say in your word in 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I heal from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Our land needs healing, Lord. Restore humankind with unity, love, fear, and reverence for you, Yahweh. Reveal yourselves to those who are lost in their sins and blinded by the evil one, so they too can escape hell and get a salvation ticket to heaven. Yes, Lord, give us humility and fear for you, Father. Help us to turn away from our wrongdoings and our wickedness. Revive us again so our minds and spirit can be awakened and be enlightened by the Holy Spirit to serve Jesus Christ with our hearts, minds, and spirit. Hallelujah. Lord, free me from hatred, envy, jealousy, and unforgiveness. Lord, create in me a clean and pure heart so I can live my life pleasing unto you. Eternal One, the head of the church, Jesus Christ, I pray right now for every Christian, every born-again believer who knows you and declares that you are Lord of Lords. Help us, your church, to keep our eyes on you and not be distracted by the things of this world. Revive us, O God. Revive us, O Lord, and give us the boldness that we need to spread your word, the gospel, to anyone we encounter. 
Help us not to be ashamed to share your love for sinners. Help us, Lord, not to be judgmental of their sins, but to seize every opportunity to share the good news of Jesus Christ. And now, God Almighty, I pray for every non-believer, atheist, or backslider hearing this prayer. May you meet them, Father, in their rebellion, disobedience, lack of faith, and the rejection of the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus Christ for humanity. May the light of Christ shine upon them and in their hearts, for salvation is only found in Jesus Christ. As you say in your word in Acts 4 verse 12, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Lord, reveal to them who you are. My God, you are such an amazing and wonderful Father. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, reveal yourself to them, O God. You are such a good Father. Hallelujah. You are the infinite God. You are self-existing. Hallelujah. Without origin. Hallelujah. As it says in your word, Colossians 1 verse 17, and he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding is infinite. Psalm 147 verse 5. Hallelujah. God, you are the self-sufficient God, the God with no needs. Hallelujah. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. John 5 verse 26. Hallelujah. Breathe life. Hallelujah. Over those that are spiritually dead. Hallelujah. Breathe life. Hallelujah. Life over them in Jesus' name. God, you are an omnipotent God, all-powerful God, hallelujah. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, and all the hosts of them, by the breath of his mouth, hallelujah. Oh God, you are omnipresent God, you are always everywhere, hallelujah. Where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning if I dwell in the outermost part of the sea even there your hand will lead me and your right hand will lay hold of me according to Psalm 129 verse 7 to 10 hallelujah God you are an omniscient God the all-knowing God hallelujah hallelujah remember the former things those of long ago I am God and there is no other I am God and there is none like me I make known the end from the beginning from ancient times what is still to come I say my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please according to Isaiah 46 verse 9 through 10 hallelujah praise God praise God praise God hallelujah praise God oh Lord you are a wise God hallelujah full of perfect unchanging wisdom according to your word in Romans 11 verse 33 hallelujah it declares all oh, the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of God how unsearchable are his judgments and unfathomable his ways praise the lord hallelujah oh god you are an immutable god you never change malachi 3 verse 6 tells us i the lord do not change so you the descendants of jacob are not destroyed bless the lord hallelujah oh god you are a faithful god you are infinite and unchanging you are an infinite an unchanging God. Hallelujah. Your word tells us in Deuteronomy 7 verse 9. Hallelujah. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commands. Praise your holy name, faithful God. Hallelujah. Second Timothy, hallelujah, chapter 2 verse 13 says, If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh God, you are a good God, infinitely and unchanging and full, hallelujah, of goodwill. Hallelujah. We pray for those who don't know you, oh God. Please meet them in their disobedience. Hallelujah. But for us who know you, we know you to be a good God. Hallelujah. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good according to your word in Psalm 34 verse 8. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, you are a just God, infinitely right and perfect in all you do. Praise the Lord. According to Deuteronomy 34 verse 4, he is the work. His work is perfect for all his ways our justice oh god of truth and without injustice righteous and upright easy hallelujah oh lord we know you to be a merciful god infinitely compassionate and kind according to your word in romans 9 verse 15 and 16 i will have mercy on whom i have mercy and i will have compassion on whom i have compassion so then it does not depend on the man who wills or the man who wants but on God who has mercy praise God we honor you God we magnify your name for who you are hallelujah you are a gracious God hallelujah infinitely inclined to spare the guilty hallelujah your word says in Psalm 145 verse 8 the Lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and great in loving kindness thank you father we have experiencing hallelujah we are grace we've experienced your grace hallelujah we thank you gracious god hallelujah oh god we thank you because you are a loving god infinitely loves us hallelujah praise the lord your word says in one first john chapter 4 verse 7 and 8 hallelujah beloved let us love one another for love is from god and whoever loves has been born of god and knows god anyone who does not love does not know god because God is love. First John chapter 4 verse 7 and 8. Hallelujah. Your name is to be glorified, O oh God. Your name, hallelujah, is great. Your name, hallelujah, is perfect. O oh Lord, you are a holy God, infinitely, hallelujah, and perfectly holy. Hallelujah. Revelation 4 verse 8 tells us, holy, holy, holy is the lord god almighty hallelujah and father you are a glorious god hallelujah you are infinitely beautiful and great hallelujah your radiance is like the sunlight hallelujah you have rays flashing from your head and there is the hiding of your power Hallelujah. You deserve all the glory, God, for who you are. You deserve the praise, Almighty God, and we worship you and adore you, Master. Praise your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And God, I pray now for our pastors, our teachers, our spiritual leaders, and our mentors. Hallelujah. Please give them your wisdom, your grace, and anointing. Please always strengthen them, Father. And may your divine protection be with them and with their families always in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke every spirit of fear and timidity that hinder us from boldly preaching the gospel. Hallelujah. You tell us in your word in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind hallelujah lord give us the heart of an evangelist for you have called us to make our disciples we want to surrender our will to you O god hallelujah O lord give us more of you 
and less of us. Anoint us, Lord, for your service and for our kingdom assignment. Empower us, Holy Spirit, to live our lives full of purpose as we use our God-given talents and potentials for your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Lord, lead us astray from the devil, the adversary, and his demons. Hallelujah. We take authority over demonic oppression, depression, sadness, in the name of Jesus. We rebuke discouragement in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Hallelujah. We rebuke every spirit of discouragement and negativity around us in Jesus' name. But breathe on us, Holy Spirit of God. Fill us and we fill us with your power so that we may serve you and honor you, O God. Hallelujah. Enable us to do ministry in a way that is pleasing unto you. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Father, you are an unchanging God. You are eternal, faithful God. And you are the God of covenant who keeps all your promises. Hallelujah. We love you. We glorify your name and we magnify your holy name. Hallelujah. You hear and answer the prayers of those who call on you. Hallelujah. Please, God, please, my Lord, make this prayer acceptable unto you. Hallelujah. And it will not be earthbound. And it will, hallelujah, ascend to your throne of grace. Hallelujah. Make this prayer of intercession. Hallelujah. Ascend your throne of grace and of mercy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Father, you are our healer, our Jehovah Rapha. Please heal us in our minds and bodies of every sickness and malaise. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit that lives in us. So we rebuke every illness that comes to cripple us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for forgiving our sins and healing our diseases. Hallelujah. I rebuke all kinds of diseases and declare healing from pain, diabetes, hypertension, asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, myocardial infarction, or heart attack. Hallelujah. I declare and I decree healing from obesity, deep vein thrombosis, DVT, Crohn's disease, peptic and gastric ulcers. Hallelujah. I declare and I decree healing from gastritis, gallstones, celiac disease, pancreatitis, cirrhosis, glomerulonephritis, kidney stones, arthritis, osteoporosis, hallelujah, hyperthyroidism, and hypothyroidism, endometriosis, ovarian cyst, hallelujah, I declare and I decree, hallelujah, that we are healed from uterine fibroids, hallelujah, prostate enlargement, stroke, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, hallelujah, cerebroedema, brain aneurysm, multiple sclerosis, vitiligo, all types of infections, all types of cancers and inflammatory diseases, and all types of autoimmune diseases. We declare healing from all diseases of the bodily systems hallelujah such as uh, systems such as the neuromuscular hallelujah cardiac and circulatory system respiratory system the digestive system the endocrine system the renal system genital urinary system hematologic system hallelujah reproductive system the immune system the lymphatic system the integumentary system and neurological system i declare healing of all illnesses hallelujah in these body systems in the name of Jesus and we pray father God according to your perfect will in the name of Jesus glory to God father in the name of Jesus Christ the anointed one we pray for those who have lost their loved ones to either cancer 
COVID-19 or any other type of disease. May your Holy Spirit comfort them and help them to accept your will in their lives. Hallelujah. We pray to you, Father, Elohim, Almighty God, for your divine protection over our lives and our children against harmful bacteria, viruses, and plagues. Be our shield, Lord, and protect us from every harm. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray to redeem the souls of our children and grandchildren, our sons and daughters, nephews, nieces, cousins, and every family member. Hallelujah. Oh God, grant them success in their schooling and studies. Hallelujah. Make them grow in fear for you, God. Hallelujah. They shall not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of their mind. By testing, they may discern what the will of God is. Hallelujah. What is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 12 verse 2. Hallelujah. As you told Joshua, we pray that your word will not depart from their mouth, but they will meditate on it day and night. Hallelujah. Joshua 1 verse 8. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Your name is above every name. We bless you. We magnify you. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, hallelujah, I declare divine protection over our children from toxic friendships or relationships that will lead them to delinquency and failure, but give them friends who will encourage them in their walk with you and that will promote them in Jesus name. Hallelujah. I declare that our children are leaders and not the followers in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Lord, some of us adults are returning to school or studying for board exams in different areas it may be. Hallelujah. Please show us your favor, O oh God, and grant us your success so we can be a good reference and model for the world. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Yes, Father. O oh God, bless us with authentic friends who will spread positivity in our lives. Give us accountability partners who are truthful and honest to help us grow spiritually hallelujah educationally and socially in the name of Jesus hallelujah Lord grant us success in all our endeavors I pray for success and promotion at our jobs in the name of Jesus we are highly favored in the name of Jesus I declare that we make the best out of our jobs and many opportunities come on our way hallelujah I declare that our business our corporation is blessed prospered and flourished in the name of Jesus. I declare that we are successful entrepreneurs in the name of Jesus. Help us to use our gifts, talents, and potentials in our business goals and projects in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Reveal to us our true calling and help us to live a purpose-driven life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, I want to declare your your word and promises over our lives. Your word is eternal, Father. Hallelujah. Help us. Glory to God. Help us, Lord, not to be anxious about anything as you say it in your word. In Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly above all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever amen 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 Ephesians 3 verse 20 and 21 glory to God 
Hallelujah. We are waiting on you, Lord Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. I stated in your word in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Thank you, Lord. Father, I seal this prayer in the name of Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Revelation 22, verse 20 and 21. He who testifies to these things says, Surely I am coming quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and all. Amen, amen, and amen.